beetroots to use up and I'm making a red velvet sort of oat bran cake uh, these beetroots were just cooked in the oven uh, left to cool I um, peeled them and there you see I've put in the food process I've got a lovely puree now um, I've whisked up my egg whites they're ready to go in my dish here I've got two tablespoons of oat bran a uh, couple of sachets of butter buds, a tablespoon of sweetener, a teaspoon of vanilla paste and some chocolate uh, drops. Also two egg yolks. I'm going to whisk that up then I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of yoghurt and then I'll be adding the beetroot and some cherries. So as you can see it's all come together and I did add two tablespoons of fat free yoghurt and one big uh, sort of, this was the spoon I used, one big dollop of, uh, of the puree in there. I'm going to pop that into a dish. I might freeze it and use it another day. So um, I'm just going to bring this together. And it's going to be sort of a, um, I don't know, a cherry velvet cake. Um, yummy treat so I'm just going to fold those together and then I'm going to add in the egg white so I'm just going to fold it through carefully um, don't really want to break up the air out of the white so I'm just going to put the camera down bring that together and then I'll be ready to put into the chosen forms the oven's already heating up at 180 I just quickly popped on a couple of extra cherries on top for cooking process Going to sprinkle with some cinnamon. Did I tell you I like cinnamon? <laughs> okay, 15 minutes in the oven and I'll be checking to see how they progress. I also forgot to mention, <laughs> I did actually put some baking powder in. So the basic cake recipe is two tablespoons of oat bran, two tablespoons of fat-free yogurt, um, an egg, and um, a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. Now I doubled all that up, so it's got two eggs in because I'm making two lots for two people. And so naturally I doubled up all of my ingredients. So there you go, hopefully it will come out um, really well. Now, they smell absolutely stunning and they are so pretty. Uh, I took the smaller one out a little bit earlier and I'm just going to cut it in half. See what it looks like. Oh my word, look at that. I'm going to try a little bit. My mouth is watering, I tell you, it just smells so yummy. Oh gosh, that's good. Okay. To me, that's a winner. Really nice. I could have served that with some yogurt later. Absolutely fantastic. Yummy.